Welcome Libras. I'm happy to have you guys back here with me today. I've been in my A for a little while. I'm back full throttle, guys. All right, so if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click that bell to subscribe. There's so much more to come to this channel. I have so much in store for you guys, okay? Um, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. So happy to have you guys back here with me today. All right, if this message is seem to resonate, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share as well as comment. Um, and let me know what's going on. Let, definitely let me know what's going on in the comment section, okay? I need to know whether or not if these messages are resonating with you guys. All right, so these are general messages. So they won't resonate with every single Libra. This could be your energy. It could be your partner's energy. It definitely can go vice versa. Oh, we got the strength card that wanted to pop out. So maybe some of you guys are dealing with a Leo or there is a sense of you being confident or bold or maybe you're resisting something, okay? Why is the strength card here? Reveal to me why the strength card is here. All right, six of pentacles. So something, okay, we got the moon card and the devil, okay. And the Ace of Cups. Oh, there's this attachment, um, like an obsession here. Maybe you're resisting or you're trying to resist. Some of you guys are dealing with a Capricorn or Pisces. Um, water sign energy, I'm picking up on that as well. Oh, there could be some conflict going on. Let's let's just go ahead and pull the cards, okay? Because they're ready to talk. Let's get it popping for Libra, all right? So for some reason, I'm picking up on the number two for you guys. Um, so some of you guys could be seeing the number two, 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 okay? There possibly is a need to balance some type of issues or res resolve something, okay? So let's see what's going on. I want to shuffle two times. One. And two, what messages are there for Libras? This is going to be for the month of October, Sun, Moon, and Rising Venus, Libras. All right, let's hop to it. Let's get into it. Bottom of the deck, guys, we have the Three of Swords, okay? Three of Swords. So there could be some type of heartbreak or sorrow. We got the Moon card. Maybe this is a Pisces that you're dealing with. Maybe you're trying to hide your emotions because we got the King of Cups here. With this Three of Swords, there could be a third-party energy or there's just sadness, okay? There could have been a heartbreak or sorrow. Um, okay, we got the Page of Pentacles. Okay, maybe there's some shocking news, okay? Could be involving a Scorpio. All right, yeah, you were pacing yourself like you didn't see this coming. Or maybe you did see it coming because what's crowning you is the Nine of Wands and that's when you have your guard up. So, but some shocking news um, has hit, it's like fresh off the press. It's fresh off the press, okay. Maybe someone or you've been keeping this close to you. Um, maybe you um, knew this was coming. Someone wasn't, the whole story wasn't put out. Okay, we got the Death card and the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, the Death card being a Scorpio's energy. But this is saying that someone isn't being truthful or the whole complete story hasn't come out. There's not enough clarity. Um, but I do feel like something came out and you were surprised by it. Okay, maybe in the past, this person could have came off kind of like they were cold or, or that they were distant. King of Swords energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is energy. But I have a sense like you knew this was coming. Your intuition was telling you to brace yourself for this. Um, somebody is really stuck in their feelings and their emotions going ahead. Somebody is stuck in their feelings. I'm not sure if it's you or someone else. Okay, from what I'm seeing, you're holding on to something or you're holding back. Um, maybe... With this Ten of Pentacles here, this could be involving family. But I'm getting a sense of you're trying to save your money. You're holding on to, you want to hold on to your money. And how other people see you is that you want attention. And I'm, I'm picking up people who immediately are feeling like you want the spotlight on you. 
okay? Maybe you didn't get enough clarity. You spoke something and you're not getting the clarity that you need, that you want. <clears throat> but maybe your intuition is telling you that they're going to like pop out of the blue. This what you're looking for. The answers are gonna like just pop out <laughs> of the blue. Maybe you feel like somebody's playing games with you. But I'm just sensing like moving ahead, you being stuck in your feelings, okay? I got or I got devil card here, okay? So maybe some truth came out about a Capricorn here. Maybe you've been spying on someone. Maybe you're looking through their social media, looking back at their past, scrolling through things, you know, trying to get all connect the dots together. But your intuition is, t is telling you that you can't trust this person because we got the seven of swords and the nine of wands. So this is definitely like being on the lookout for this sneaky ass person because this person is sneaky. OK, so maybe there is some shocking news that you felt like was just random and out of the blue. And you learned that you can't trust this person because this person doesn't really come forth all the time with the whole story. Someone is definitely going to be caught up in their feelings. I'm getting like a party or some type of celebration. I know it's you guys' um, birth month um, or time, you know, where you guys could be celebrating. Maybe you're not, you know, you're hanging out and you, people are telling you, oh, no, don't worry about it. I'll pay it. I'll buy it. Keep your money. I'm picking up on that as well, too. But everybody else around you is feeling like it's your time. It's your moment to shine. Okay. And I feel like. You fear that this person is going to tell you that they are going to walk away. But you're like waiting for them to, waiting for some type of connection or bond. Waiting to see how some relationship, is, someone's relationship is going to work out. Maybe it's yours, maybe it's someone else's that you're looking at. Why is the Two of Cups here? Okay, the moon card, Pisces is energy, but there's possibly something hidden here. Someone is definitely juggling two or more people. We got the Justice card, the Two of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. So there could be you as well as an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn that is being juggled. There could be some competitive energy. Why is the moon card here? I'm just picking up on like something isn't real. Something is a facade. Somebody's playing mind games as well. Why is the moon card here? Okay, I'm picking, definitely picking up. We got King of Cups. Definitely picking up on Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. But I'm just getting like someone's playing mind games here. Um, why is the tower here? Okay, Queen of Cups. Once again, some of you guys are definitely dealing with a water sign. But we got Three of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles and the Lovers, Gemini's energy. But someone doesn't know is is doesn't know if they want to be single or in a relationship. Someone has two different offers, two or more offers in front of them, and they don't know exactly what it is that they want. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? The lovers, like I said, okay? Someone has a decision between two people. And it's like out of the blue, maybe this water sign, this is shocking news to you or to a water sign or a Gemini. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Yeah, okay, judgment card. A second chance or a final decision or a wake up call. And I'm picking up on a wake up call. Like this is a wake up call to someone about a relationship. But for some reason I'm picking up on that this is a, a game. It's like your intuition is telling you that it's fake 
or is not real because we have the nine of wands and the seven of swords and the high priestess so it's like intuitively you're picking up on this is bullshit and someone isn't being honest or something is just not real we got the death card and the ace of swords and the devil like something is just not real it's like it's not real why is the devil card here it's like this person wants you to believe them. We got King of Pentacles. Could definitely be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Emperor. Could be an Aries or someone older. Okay. I'm picking up on like the eldest, the oldest, um, the King of Pentacles and the Emperor together. Okay. So this is someone that's that's could possibly be an Earth sign or an Aries. But someone who's like an older um, person. Maybe like a boss or something. I'm just picking up on like someone wants somebody to believe something that is not real. Why is the three of cups here? I feel like you guys are focused more on yourself and your finances. Um, to be worried about what is going on here. Because it looks like something here is a mess. I feel like you're watching it with this page of swords. Like you're looking, reviewing it, looking over it. Um, but I'm just picking up on like, you're like, um, my birthday is here. This is my birthday month. And all of that other shit is irrelevant. But I feel like there's just like this secret. And you're trying to see, you're waiting to see the results. Like, how is it going to go? How is this going to work out? I feel like you you aren't really focused, zoomed in on um, love issues. I feel like you're more zoomed in to, like, watching other people and what other people have going on. Or someone is bringing their issues to you. And um, I feel like you're focused on money. Let's see. Let's see exactly what is what. What messages we have here. With the Love Oracle cards, okay, what message do you have for Libras for the month of October? For the month of October, what messages are there for Libras? Libras, okay? I'm going to shuffle two times and then we're going to jump right into it. Libras, 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 Libras. All right. For some of you guys, this involves a wedding. Someone could possibly be married. Um, and maybe they aren't, they are at a distance because we have this time to disconnect from the world. So maybe someone is literally like at a distance from um, their partner. You could be at a distance from your partner. We have make the effort. Okay. So maybe you're trying to decide on whether or not you should put effort into this trying to figure out this person could be the one because you possibly feel like this situation is unrequited and doesn't have any balance okay so let's see what's what yeah we have codependency for some reason codependency is the devil card in the tarot so definitely i'm picking up on um capricorn okay so someone could possibly be codependent and someone has a new love interest a new love interest and then i see you guys like zeroing in on your finances and your career okay so we have codependency we have new love and we have finances and career all right so let's pull a few clarifiers and see what's going on what's what all right so please give me clarifiers for libras All right, this is something about the past. Someone was happy in the past, okay? You were happy in the past. I feel like um, someone decided to distance themselves or they um, were having, like, down on their look. Um, and maybe you came in to rescue or came in to, like, save the day. All right, and it brought back this happiness again. Let's see. With codependency, we have the chariot card. So you're moving forward, okay? I feel like currently, presently with new love, we have the wheel of fortune. So things could be going in your favor. There's some new love interest. And then we have the world card here with, with finances and career. So some of you guys could be traveling out of town for business, okay? But then we have this ten of swords here 
covering this chariot card. So this is like someone is keeping someone bound, okay? And they're feeling like they can't move forward because someone is too codependent, too clingy, okay, too attached. And some it's causing someone to not be able to move forward, okay? Someone here is changing the rules. Someone here is changing the dynamic. We have new love, but we also have the will of fortune, which is about changes, which is about the universe conspiring, okay, on your behalf. And then we have the Hierophant, Taurus's energy. But this is like someone switching up the rules, okay? So maybe you decide that with this time around, okay, maybe someone was too codependent on you or you too codependent on them, so maybe things ended. But this go around with this new love that's coming in, I'm going to change it up. I'm going to switch it up a lot, okay? I'm going to switch it up a bit, okay? See, look, we got the four of wands, finances and career. So maybe some of you guys are traveling for business, okay? This is about stability. This is about a marriage. This is about home life. This is about family. This is about celebration, okay? Yeah, some of you guys cut someone off um, because it wasn't moving forward. The person could have been too codependent. So you decide to be single, okay? Yeah, okay, I'm getting, picking up on a marriage here or family, okay? A family legacy here as well. Yeah, you were single and ready to mingle. You was looking for something new. You have a lot of options around you. Someone is regretting something that they said because they feel like now they're looking back at it and it was super duper irrational. But I feel like moving ahead, I'm just definitely picking up on like soulmate energy or someone who's providing stability or a marriage here. But someone here is worried um, that they're going to get cut out or cut off or there's just like a harshness we got the strength card could be a leo yeah there we go so we got the king of swords and the queen of swords okay so someone is like very independent very strong-minded um, I feel like you guys are zooming in on your career and your finances, okay? You're making sure that your family is good. You're making sure that your bank account is good. You're not trying to be worried about money, okay? So for a lot of you guys, that is where you guys' focus is. I feel like right now you may have a new love interest coming in or you already just met someone new. Um, and I feel like... You're willing to make some changes. I feel like the previous relationship that some of you guys were in, someone was too codependent upon you or you upon them, and you're wanting to change things up, okay? All right, so if these messages resonated with you, make sure that you like, comment, and share. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, all right? And until next time, guys, if you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, that information will be in the drop box below, okay? Ciao for now.